Hi everybody and welcome to this video. As you can see we're in a different setting today that is because we are on a team event offsite in the Netherlands and I have Valentin here with me. Now Valentin has been working a lot with RPA. He's been integrating Flobo with the RPA framework. You might have seen that movie um, but what you didn't see yet is the uh, Power Automate movie, right Valentin? Yes. That's what you've been working on recently. And he's also been working on something with a cloud desktop from Anthropic, right? And because we're together now physically this time, um, he said, let's sit down and I will guide you through whatever I built here, right? So I had a quick look at it, but I will be here to ask you the annoying questions and uh, let's see how this works, right? So go ahead, the stage is yours. Thank you, Johan. So let's start with the idea behind the RPA framework uh, integration and the power automate is going to be the same. Uh, mm -hmm. I only still need to record that video. And in here, we basically have an RPA framework task, which mm -hmm. is going ahead and then executing an robot. When you would like to get into details for that, just watch the yeah. video with the RPA framework. There we have all the details. Yeah. And so basically, if I understand or remember correctly, uh, what it did, it kind of opened up an Excel sheet, it got some data, filled in some things, got it out and, you know, and put it back into the process, right? Yes. So for the RPA framework, it basically even took yeah. screenshots and did do all okay. that stuff yeah. to figure out right. where is what. When you use Power Automate, it is uh, using an Excel integration. So right. there are different ways to approach that. Also with the RPA framework, mm. with Windows, you could use the Excel integration. Yeah. So you have possibilities there, but you describe a pretty much long description yeah. of what needs to be. Okay. And so what's the difference today? Now, let's look at what we are doing here with Cloud Desktop Use. Yeah. In here, I model the process as a user would actually do it. So we have here an Evaluate Company user task, and that user task describes what needs to be done. So we have even a form behind here. And in that form, there's a description of what needs to be mm -hmm. done and what is the expected output. Right. So when you just take the process as it is right now, a user could just go right. ahead and do it and do what is written inside. This is your prompt, basically. That is my prompt, basically. Right. Okay. Besides that, I have another small prompt, which is telling the um, AI or the cloud desktop use what it needs to do so that it should go to that specific right. user task and complete that user task for me. So that's yeah. my pre-prompt. Yeah, no, you you're using the boundary me. timer here to, to exactly. kind of do that as a, as a hacky way, I would say, right? Yeah, so <laughs> after several seconds, after the task creation, yeah, yeah, yeah. I let the AI do yeah. it. And that also has a nice advantage that when the AI fails on yeah, yeah, the user mean. could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, since yeah, yeah. Uh, the task would still be there. Yeah, cool. So now when we look uh, during the execution, which is quite interesting actually, and uh, there we can just start a, simply a new yep. process. And when, en when we enter here the numbers for the physical years, okay. um, there we basically then create your, a new process yeah, that's your And what this is Cloud Desktop. That is Cloud Desktop use a little bit patch that it basically works together with Flow. Okay. So instead of that prompt down here where mm -hmm. the user enters stuff, it is pulling the task from Flow, which just happened now, right. and it is uh, telling me now, please open that task. Right. And this task basically is. So what happened now? That's interesting, since you don't see what happened yeah, yeah. here. It's a conversation. In that conversation, basically, it now detected. Okay, I need to take a screenshot to figure out what is going on on my desktop. And then I found. Okay, I have Firefox. So when I need to go to a new URL. Maybe Firefox is the tool to use. Cool. Yeah. Now I signed in already in Firefox, so mm -hmm. it's now ready basically to go to that specific URL. We see in here now that it pastes actually the URL and the task is open. Yeah. With that, we see now here the instruction what really needs to be done. Yeah. And in this example, I actually even opened the Excel document already, since when there are more steps, it's taking longer until it is basically at the point where it wants to get. Makes sense, but yeah. We are going here now through... So a lot of screenshots, screen. right? I mean, I just see a lot of... So for me, just from understanding what it's doing, it's it's taking screenshots. It's then asking the AI service to describe me like any yeah. of these services out there. And then it's deciding on the next action. That right? is generating the next action pretty much. Yeah, so there are different actions which it actually can do right. based on the screenshot that is actually doing that. So it's Interesting. taking yeah. a screenshot then based on the initial input it knows what to do and then yeah. it basically decides what is the next action. And that could be typing, that could be clicking, yeah, but it yeah, could yeah. be also terminal use actually. So then it's yeah. not taking screenshots anymore, then it's just executing the commands in the yeah, terminal. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you say the Excel document is, for example, not open, but it exists on the file system with that name, right. it is using find on the command line oh, to actually find that. 
Fine. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now, while we talked about uh, other stuff, it filled out here the uh, Yeah, I saw all these things moving there, right? Yeah, so we have now the values in here yeah. which were provided inside our From your work, from device. your form, your start form, right? Yeah, yeah. from uh, which I entered in the start form yeah, yeah. and then uh, the AI received basically from, inside that. Yeah, 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 got it, yeah. And here that Excel document is actually also almost the same than the one which I used in the yep, I RPA framework. Right. I remember it, yeah. Only that I added here a box around the input values. Okay, so right. we have two FC1s, FC2 and FC3 in here. Ah. And it doesn't know which, which are the one to take. Ones, yeah. so, which is fair, actually. Yeah, no, so it makes sense. It doesn't yeah. analyze the Excel nope. sheet, which is a formula and which not. Yeah. I also explicitly defined that always yep. inside yep. the yep. RPA framework automations. Yep. Now it did do the calculation and yep. it is going back to global work since it knows it still needs yep. to figure out. Now it's, how it's what it's waiting. Speed. Now it is actually waiting. Okay. And that could be caused, for example, since our conversation is getting longer and mm. longer. So the processing from the AI also takes longer and longer. Is it always resending the whole context? It's resending most of the context. Mm. So all the text is basically sent every single yeah. time. Uh, all the user messages, responses, and yeah, so on, yeah, yeah. since it needs to know also what yeah, was my course. overall goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, while uh, the screenshots, not all of them are sent. There, I think only three, but you can consider yeah, yeah. the amount are sent, which is already a lot, but sometimes yeah. it also needs to know, yeah, I can go yeah. back to flow work, for example. Yeah, yeah, no, makes sense. Now we filled out the numbers, yeah, and there. they are coming yeah. from the Excel document, so they are correct. Okay. So we have seen here the correct result. For whatever reason, it tries to save the task first. I mean, it was never hurts to save the task, right? <laughs> it never hurts. Actually, when it would now crash, yeah. the user would know, okay, somebody yeah. worked already yeah. on that and could even, when we use different users, figure out, okay, that was done by the AI. Yeah. And next step is then actually to complete yeah. the task. But you can see it needs a bit of time now, right? Because of course, yeah. you saw a lot of these messages and screenshots passing by. Exactly. So, so yeah, yeah. now we have basically the yeah. next screenshot that needs to do the next call. Sometimes it uh, might be also that yeah. we are running in a wait limit since there are only certain amounts uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of, um, of tokens which you can yeah. use. I mean, it's early it. days for this technology, right? Yes. It's really early days. It's, but I mean, technically, I'm, I find it quite interesting the way it works, right? It takes that screenshot. Analyzes it and then decides to generate, right? Because in the end, this is all still yeah. Gen AI, artificial intelligence, is generating the next action based on the previous context. It makes, you know, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense as how, how you operate your operating system in the end, right? And how you Indeed. Do, do all so these things. So it's, it's basically a user and yeah, yeah, yeah. are just screenshots. It's taking screenshots over and over. Yeah. Now, what, what I, I mean, we were looking at this in the context of uh, RPA, right? I guess. I, and correct me if I'm wrong, Valentin. <laughs> to me, at least seeing this, there is quite some difference in the sense that um, RPA is really saying, do this, do that, you know, go yeah. to that section and click that. Here, you're saying, I want that and go and figure it out. Yeah. So yeah. It's, is, it, is it RPA or is it something in between? So here, basically, you go ahead and say, what is my mission? Yeah. And in the best case, it's figuring out everything. Yeah, yeah. At this stage, I think the more you tell it, the better it works at the end. As always in the context, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So now we're done. It's done, right? I mean, it's, Now it's done. And yeah. now we can go actually back to flow of the work. We see here we have the, the values. numbers entered, the values which came through, and uh, we yeah. completed the task. So when you were talking, I actually was thinking about, yes, I mean, to add this to a process or a case, you can do it as you just did, right? And, or integrate it in whatever way you want. That's interesting, but um, it's not repeatable, right? It's not yeah. like you can run a hundred times, a thousand times. Well, you can, right? But you never know the actual outcome. And I was thinking maybe this can be used as some sort of middle ground where you use this technology to generate the RPA steps, maybe. I don't know, or maybe this technology will evolve to become reliant or I don't know, right? But this, I mean, I'm, I think it's quite interesting thinking about what it did and how it's applying the um, AI algorithms to, to drive your screen pretty much figuring out. I mean, to me, it's really declarative of saying, I want this, not saying how, right? I think there's a difference with RPA. With yeah. RPA, you say exactly how, with this, you're saying, I want this, but you figure it out. And I think that's really interesting to look at it. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting point since here you could go ahead and say basically, 
uh, just do that for me. And even yeah. if it is not in a certain state where yeah. you expect it, it will still work or probably yeah, 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 exactly. work. So exactly. maybe you can combine it with RPA. So when RPA yep. is stuck or yep. there's an update pop up or the yep. tip of yep. the day, yep. something yep. which true, is not true, typical, true. Yep. you could go ahead and yep. say, yeah, please run that to bring yep. it to a certain state. Yep. And then it is basically doing yep. that for me. I mean, I'm for flow, but in the end, you know, we're about orchestrating processes, cases, getting services, people, data together. To me, this is getting data from somewhere that maybe before was not available or was not automated. So it's yeah. only good news, I would say, yeah. that there is an, another angle to get data in. Right? Yeah, I mean, the more ways to get basically yeah. data which you can use and to yeah. integrate with other systems, yeah. the better. Assuming you have a tool which you rarely use and yeah. there is basically no risk in integrating it in this yeah. way, it might be a a nice way yeah. to do a fast integration without basically spending too much yeah. time in a full RPA. Right. Yeah. Or interesting, research. interesting. No, I'm definitely interested in what you just showed me. And uh, I think the the idea is to keep an eye on all of this, right? Because things evolve really fast. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's yeah. quite cool what you showed me today. So thank you, Valentin, for that. And uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.